1990, we had several visual symbols. This is one of them, which seemed to be saying, giving us clues as to who is or what is really behind this phenomenon. What is the primary source? I looked at this and I felt I recognized it. And I turned to a physics book that I'd had for many years, and I discovered a near identical diagram uh, representing the associated sound waves that come off a tuning fork when it's vibrating. These two bars represent the tuning fork. Replace that with a circle, and it's like it's implying sound. I found a lot of evidence over the years that sound and ultrasound made crop circle creation by this divine source, which we're going to be revealing more and more of. But anyway, in ancient traditions, ancient symbolism to denote a creator. Uh, many ancient cultures, the creator was symbolized by the sun. Uh, they, they deified the sun because that is the physical source of all life on planet Earth. It's an ideal choice to use as a symbol. Well, a circle with a ring around it is the, perhaps the most, the oldest sacred symbol to represent God and the sun, the creator. So here we have a, uh, a formation that's combining perhaps or inferring sound and sound waves and God. And this also brought to my mind the uh, opening chapter of St. John's Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You could change the Word for creation. In the beginning was creation, and creation was with God, and creation was God. A clue, I think, early on in 1990, it started me on a train of thought uh, looking in another direction.